alright, it's that better. That's better. Alright, so we're live through the GoPro direct now. Um, I had to change that because I kept losing sound. And my um, I am struggling against the wind. And because it's there, where it is, it's um, getting a bit of a few splashes to the back, and I don't want it to get all the freaking thing, you know. So um, we have to take it easy because the camera is going to get wet. No, not all that. Um, where it is, it'll be alright on the reservoir, but doing it this way is a little see, splash. Doing this way is not, not good. Um, I've drifted way out from where I wanted to be to. Um, um, and we're running out of daylight. <laughs> Anywho, we're um, paddling back to the boat ramp and we're gonna slowly get there. We're gonna have to come back. Oh, then, yeah, we're back. <laughs> Alright, so actually, I might be lifted up a bit. up there and then like that. That's that. Now I might be able to paddle a bit better. Oops, get rid of that one. There. We keep turning around. Um, okay, that's better. Is that better? Ooh. We have to drop some water in there. Drop some water on the phone. It's... Yeah. Ah, Oh dear. Come on, stupid thing. What's going on? Dude. Uh, the screen is wet. <laughs> I'll get so close. <laughs> and then we... Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, screw. You can't see the screen. Okay. It looks alright to me. Let's go. Now we should be able to paddle a little bit better because it's not so low. So low. Finger. We were so close. And then we blew it away. Blew it away. So um, we're running through the quick app now. Which I think it should work. Still work. Right? I all the all of the um, things are okay, but
There we go. That's better. Minus four. Serious? Minus four where you are. Well, well it got to 33 degrees Celsius today, which is like... That's about, what's that Fahrenheit? That's about 90, 95 I think, 95 Fahrenheit today. It's going to be a nice sunset. Yeah. Start to colour up already. And contrary to what all the the popular media stuff says, that we aren't locked down at all. Here in our state, um, we were only locked down for uh, six days. Total of six days. With um, four days, four days in one hit, and uh, two days in the second hit, which. The first one was going to be a week, but um, the authorities found out that the guy lied, and uh, <laughs> so they cancelled the lockdown. But yeah, we had six days here, seven days, something like that. And um, the uh, eastern states are the ones that have had the problems. They're getting like 10,000 cases a day. And um, they got something like 80,000 people with COVID and all this sort of guff. Uh, but they were locked down for about two months. And Victoria, which is the southern eastern state, there's New South Wales, which is on the central coast, and then Victoria down south. Uh, Victoria really had troubles. Um, at the beginning, they had lots of lockdowns. Their Premier, because each state has a Premier, and then we have Prime Minister, which is the national leader. Um, so each state has a, a Premier, which would be like your governors in the US. Um, yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, that their premier was very cautious and locked down lots. Um, us here in South Australia, we had that, like I said, six days out of the last two years. Uh, and we've never, the only thing we've really had to do that um, they were hot on for a while is like numbers of people in the house and parties. Um, you still go to a party or still go to a wedding but you can only invite like 50 people to the pen. It depended on the size of the venue. So like uh, one person per four square meters was the rule. So um, it's, we handled it a bit differently um, than the Eastern States. Uh, and Western Australia, which is over on the West Coast, and it takes the whole Western side of uh, Australia, from the north to the bottom, south, um, they they don't even let people in their state. Like, if you're from, uh, uh, they, they were calling it COVID hotspots. If you're from a COVID hotspot state, Western Australia wouldn't let you in. You weren't allowed into their state at all. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't had it either. I've been vaccinated, um, got all the vaccines. My wife and I, we run a business. Um, we do home cleaning. So um, we, uh, we have to, well, we, we've done it so that our customers uh, can relax. And um, no customer has asked us to be vaccinated, which is interesting. But we've just done it because we felt ourselves that it was the right thing to do and look after our customers because we have a few elderly 
and um, a couple. We had two in the wheelchair. One we only have one in the wheelchair now because um, the other lady went into a nursing home. So, um, but it's 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 all good. We're getting through it. Every country's doing their own thing. Oh, phobia level there. Yeah, that that can be difficult, can't it? Um, you don't want to see it. <laughs> you know, my first vac vaccination, the first bout, the lady that did it, I didn't even feel it. Didn't feel a thing when she. I was sort of watching, and she said, "Oh, you can look away." And, and I said, "Oh, yeah, I've just got a." And I looked at my phone and looked up and she was putting the cat back on the needle I didn't even feel it oh there's a bunch of dolphins just here I'm going to wheel in my there's six dolphins right here five six hmm. I'm just using a squid jig My mum is an anti-vaxxer. She's totally against it. She, um, when our daughter was born, she's 12 now, but when she was born, um, my mum found out that she was vaccinated. She cried. She was devastated that we would do it. But um, because she was born in the Philippines, our daughter, um, we had to, uh, we could not not um, leave the hospital without vaccinations. Um, they're quite strict over there and the vaccinations that you get over there are a lot more because of uh, hepatitis, um, hep C, hep B, hep all the hepatitis, blood diseases. Um, she has a, three different vaccinations that we, they don't even give you here. Yeah, so she's mum's against it all. Scientists don't know what they're doing and yada yada. Good on your mum. That's okay. She never vaccinated, but she's had three sons. I have two brothers. None of us were vaccinated. And my little brother, he is. Uh, He's 17, 18 years younger, and uh, him seven. Hey, we are fish. We were. I'm heading back in because it's starting to get a bit dark. We, I was going to go fishing. Well, I've got one squid dig, one squid jig, still trolling along. But I'm not paddling any great speed records out of here. <laughs> but um. Well, scream, dude. Yeah, wisdom. Three nurses to hold you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, them's fighting, fighting words. That needle. Them's fighting words. Yeah. It's actually quite nice. Man. Not bad, man. We got um, <clears throat> quite a hand at paddling and see how it's set up those. Um, I'm doing a bit close to it, don't just change. We change back to Ah, there we go. Yeah, we got um, one, one squid jig in here that's just trolling along. Anyways, we're going to head into the boat ramp and um, it's more a test of the gear, see how it goes. Um, it's a bit windy and rough today, so um, I might have to do it this way while I'm doing it now without uh, my encoder, so there'll be no um, overlays on the stream. Um, no. Uh, yeah, no overlays. I don't know if the sound is play. Sound alerts. Do I still have sound alerts there? I guess that's part of Twitch. Yeah. It's a nice paddle anyway. There's a bunch of people here fishing. Um, I have to, I have an Android phone and I'm going to set up, oh really, <laughs> he can't get it, he doesn't get it. It's probably a bit like me with my wife and mice, my wife does not like mice at all. Eh? She just squeals even if she sees the tail of one. Oh my goodness. It's like the world's ended. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, I'm gonna call it a end of the stream. Um, we're just going to wheel in this one. in this one. See it. Wait, look at my watch. Uh -huh. 8.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. here. Alright. What we're going to do is we'll go and um, I'll check out how we're sitting here. Admiring the colours of the sunset. Um, Yep. Wind keeps blowing me that way for some reason. 
Anyway. There we go. Over here. Um. Vaccination is in a Oh. What about Robin? No track tax. No vaccination. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, for a holiday? Or just be there if you falling out. We, there we go. Okay. We made it. Yes. Okay. Um, let me. Nearly squidging my face. Mm. Alright. Oh, there's a rock there. My wheels aren't very slow to which ones are right because um I put some uh, Head back up.
Some crocs. Some crocs. Because it's collision zones. Ah, uh, yeah. Visit your family. There's one place I'd love to go. Is um some of those um. Inca places and See the colours of the sunset starting now. Looking pretty good. Where did I put my car keys? Alrighty. Um, now I'll leave that stuff in there. Get everything else out. Just getting on dusk. So I think I think the setup works all right. Um, a couple of little things are a change. But you're looking at a guard for the back of that, for the back of this camera. Um, Surprisingly, a large amount of people here. And then, um, I think leaving it up high like that is a little bit better, but you don't get to see the I had it further back so that you could see um, fish when they come up to the edge. Yes, yep, test run. It was a test run shadow. 
I'll do more. We have Prince of Wales. My mic. I have a better microphone too, but it's flat. So. Um, so that you can see fish. But um, when next weekend it will be, I'll. Um, next weekend I'll. Um, have have my gear all set up. Better set up. And it's a little windy this time of year, so um, give it about March, end of February, when the wind starts to die off. It starts becoming nicer weather. Um, the I hope my things will be getting itself. So it's going to be a bit better set up as we go. Yeah, cheers. Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> You're welcome. I do lots of different, I do well, a few different strings. I do, um, I do uh, IRL. Starting to do IRL like this, uh, fishing, and um, I do a bit of uh, gaming as well, as per usual Twitch, that's like uh, uh, Farm Sim, Farm Sim 2022, Farm Sim 2019, um, I've got a uh, Escape from Tarkov, um, I've just started playing that, which is a Deadly game. Good to play. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, it's tough though. Bloody hard game. Bloody hard game. Yeah. That's the. Yeah, so I've got all this gear. I do fish quite a bit. Um, but I'm only just starting to do IRL session, like taking you with me, so um, it's pretty interesting. There's a beagle over there telling off a couple of dogs. It's a beagle bark. <laughs> the beagle beagle. They're funny little dogs. <laughs> so, all we need is my modem, and we don't need the encoder for doing this. And Yahoo's just here. It's like a bit of a 
cart club thing happening. Bassett, eh? Well, let's see if we can get this out of here in one piece without having to um, Yeah, how's that? <laughs> it works. Um well, sit you sit you um sit you on the bonnet. How about that? How's this going in low light? It's not too bad, is it? That's doing right in low light, isn't it? this thing on the roof. <laughs> you could almost I could almost mount this on the window and then you could come for a drive with me. foster um, greyhounds and um, uh, we have one now Bob with us he's a bit a bit iffy um, the previous one we had first one we fostered um, before he went to adoption um, like we, we get him socialized and all that sort of stuff the first guy um, he he uh, was so timid he wouldn't even come in the kitchen he could he would stand and look at the ground and then look at you to see where he was if he's standing in the kitchen and um, even if, if you raised your hand quite quickly he would like <coughs> so we think um, the trainer that he had was a bit mean the previous trainer well the trainer he had while he was racing but he he, he was brilliant he was a good racer apparently uh, 100 races and um, I think he had uh, 50 wins out of the 100, so he was a pretty good fella. That was uh, Billy, and now we have Bob. Bob's racing name was Two Spot Bob, <laughs> and uh, Billy was uh, Demolisher. That was his racing name. That age Commodore of Bogans.
That's the hard bit. string yes yep that's them that's them Found out that Bob. Um, can you hear me? Let me let me move you up here. We only just found out that um, we only just found out that uh, Bob is a uh, he. Well, we knew he was in the prison. Uh, prison program where what they do is they take the greyhounds in the morning they'll um uh, well we think they would take what they did was they'd take them into the morning and the um prisoners would be part of the training for the dogs um be the ones training the dogs so they the prisoners will get experience you know training dogs and how to work with dogs and uh, you know gain a notch in the belt for when they get released or whatever um, and uh, we only just found out that Bob has only been in that prison um, scheme for uh, two weeks and then uh, they shut the prison down for all for the COVID stuff um, to uh, um, secure the prisoners and, and all that sort of stuff because um, just in the last I don't know when did we get him? we got him uh, early January um, it was only a, a, a few days before we picked him up that uh, they shut the prison down because they're just getting the, the the girl at Gap said the the they're dropping like flies with COVID in the prison, so they shut it down and they shut the the, the dog program down. So they had to take all the dogs out. I think there was like six dogs there. myself <laughs> we thought he'd been in the program for about 
you know, five or six months and um, he was quite well behaved. And, uh, but come like three weeks of being with us, he started getting angry and vicious and all sorts of things. So um, we're doing a, like a intense working with him at leaving things and not going to the counter, not going to the kitchen table. Um, we're having to separate him from us when we eat. We feed him and we eat at the same time. We've had to take a whole different tactic with them after we've known that. So. He's still with us, he's still doing everything right, but there's just that little niggling, you know. He's he's still got a strong prey drive. He is still doing a few silly things that he shouldn't be doing. So, anyways, uh, all right. So we're heading back home. Um, I guess working quite well. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so um, where can we put you while we're driving? Yeah. Uh, what can I do? What are we doing? What are we going to do with you? Actually, what I might do is I might finish the stream. Um, it's uh, dark in here. No, there we go. Yeah. So um, I'm going to have to switch you off and say thank you, Shadow Kitten, for coming along, mate. And um, ooh, who else is there? Um, I've lost my chat. Oh, N7L1. Thank you guys for coming along and putting up with the test stream. Um, so I'm going to finish up and uh, head over. I can't. Can we raid from here? I think we can raid. I think we can raid. Um, who's who's on? Oops. Who's on? Um, Oh, what happened to that? Did we just shut down? Or was it ads? Did we go to ads? No, we're still here. Yeah? Yeah. We're not at ads. I thought we went to ads. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Shut up. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go over to... Um, let's go there, um, go there, we go, um, there, then we go there, yeah, you got to put him, like, he gets, he comes in at, like, if we sleep in on the weekend and we, during the week we feed him a bit earlier, Bob, if we sleep in on the weekend, he's in and like staring at your face, like, come on, where's my dinner? It's seven o'clock. Where's my dinner? It's, you're late. Get out of bed. Come on. And he's looking straight in the eyes. <laughs> so you wake up and you got this snout, like right there, because they got a big long nose. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good fella. Um, oh, that's the wifey texting me too. When are you coming home? 
All right, so we are going to go and raid Splusi. Not Splice. Go raid Splusi in the. Is that going to start? Yeah. You too. You have a good night, Kid Shadow. Have a good one. See you later. I think that worked. Did that work? Did it work? Are we? Did we? Did we go? Um. I don't know. Did it work? I can't see. Is it forward slash raid? Um. Uh. We're still here. Are we still here? Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, I can't raid now. There we go. Now we're going over there. There we are. Hey!